If you're new to D&D and you find the official books a little overwhelming, or you're a longtime player who's starting to feel bored, or you're looking for a good gift for the D&D lovers in your life, these four RPG books not published by Wizards of the Coast will grant you inspiration just like they did for me. Hi, I'm Bob. This is where we learn how to have more fun playing D&D together, and this is the first module I ever ran. Beneath the Keep by Chris Doyle is part of the 5th edition fantasy series produced by Goodman Games. The whole book is only 16 pages long, drastically shorter than the official D&D pre-written adventures. And when I saw it at Free RPG Day a few years ago, I knew it was just what I needed to launch my first long-term 5e campaign as Dungeon Master. It has a concise background, a few good hooks, and a simple but inspiring story that make this module genuinely modular. So I was easily able to plug it into the world I was building, and my players loved it. Searching for a missing shopkeeper, the party investigates a staged break-in, finds a hidden basement to an ancient temple with a murderous were-rat cultist, and natural tunnels through which she'll attempt to escape. And I totally forgot about the were-rat's immunities, but the module does include a few opportunities for your level 1 PCs to grab effective weapons, and this high level of support for the DM and players is what made the very deadly as written were rat quest in the Dragon of Icefire Peak so surprising to me. This module is still certainly threatening for level 1, with some fun traps, familiar monsters with unique features, and it worked so well at my table that I went on to use FEF number 2 and number 5 in that campaign, number 1 as a one-shot, and I've since acquired a few more of these great little Goodman Games modules that I'm excited to run. So imagine my excitement when I got an email from Chris Doyle, the author of this module, asking to sponsor a video on behalf of Goodman Games. The funny part is that as much as I prefer these short modules, the actual sponsored product is this legendary item, the Temple of Elemental Evil. This Original Adventures Reincarnated series is perfect for anyone interested in classic D&D, containing a clean reprint of the original adventure and the famously detailed Village of Hamlet, plus a complete 5e conversion that fixes errors, fills in gaps, expands on the adventure, and has more legible print, as well as articles and interviews about this book's mystique as the first big adventure book for D&D. You can use promo code BOB to save 10% on anything from the Goodman Games website, link below, until November 30th, 2021, including this next book, The Dungeon Crawl Classics Quick Start Guide. And I promise the next two books are not also from Goodman Games, but I can't help it if they make cool stuff. And stick around until the end of the video because I actually get to make an exciting announcement about one of their upcoming books. So Dungeon Crawl Classics, or DCC, is its own RPG that is based on the 3.5 Dungeons & Dragons rule set, with AD&D themes of grit and danger, plus weirder dice, level 0 character funnels, and the greatest magic system you've ever seen. Now, when I first discovered the big DCC core rulebook in the early days of my D&D career, I was intimidated. But then I was really excited when I was able to pick up this quick start rulebook and module at another free RPG day. Overall, DCC is fun and unique because the dice, not the game master or even the players, but the dice truly drive the game forward and you're along for the wild ride. Out of game, you're still rolling 1d20 and adding modifiers to beat a number, but a player may be instructed to roll a d16 or d24 instead, depending on whether the action has an improved or reduced chance of success. And in-game, the dice decide your fate. You roll stats, 3d6 in order. You roll hit points. You randomly determine your character's occupation and their lucky sign. There are some brilliant random tables for fumbles and crits. And seriously, its magic system makes the 5e wild magic sorcerer just look like Ron Weasley in his first year at Hogwarts. Some key elements are mercurial magic, where every spell you learn has a randomly determined effect that is unique to your character. Spell checks, where you roll and add modifiers to determine how amazingly awesome or terribly wrong the casting goes. Just look at all the wild possibilities for magic missile. Spell burn, which is draining your own ability scores to boost your spell checks, and corruptions, when the magic randomly takes a toll on your feeble mortal form. I'm still a beginner with DCC, but I'd be happy to try making a video about this inspirational magic system, which I'm totally plugging into my next homebrew campaign. 
So let me know in the comments if you'd like to learn more about it, or this next RPG that I'll actually be using instead of D&D 5e for the main system of my next campaign, Five Torches Deep. FTD just understands me. It's the game I've been wanting to play for a long time because it relies on the elegant and simple design of 5e, but applies old school options to create a genuinely dangerous game. And the whole core book is less than 50 pages. So if you're like me and you learned D&D through 5e, but you're interested in old school vintage D&D, this book makes that world accessible. I particularly love the layout with everything you need for a given topic on a single page. I like how there's a level 9 cap and you gain experience by collecting gold pieces to incentivize delving dungeons. I like how each of 5e's 12 main classes are represented by FTD's 4 classes with 3 subclasses each, and how a given subclass can be played in different ways by selecting different features. Magic is similar to DCC but more like 5e, and the equipment, durability, and sundering rules partially inspired my recent video on weapon tiers of quality and upgrades. I could say a lot more about Five Torches Deep, and I probably will, but before we get to that cool announcement I mentioned and a bonus book recommendation from Grace World Destroyer, I have to make sure you know about Return of the Lazy Dungeon Master by Mike Shea. I've already made a whole video about it, and I stand by my claim that this book is the true Dungeon Master's Guide, but I'll take it further. It's great for players too. Not only does it provide practical, step-by-step -step advice that articulates the weird concept of preparing for a few fun hours of make-believe with dice, but every time I flip through it lately, I'm finding advice that applies to me as a player, even though I haven't played in a while and how we as players can help the DM keep things fun and engaging for the group by adding flavorful details to locations, NPCs, or monsters. Plus, the simple steps of this book, review the PCs, create a strong start, outline potential scenes, etc., all apply to any fantasy RPG, not just D&D. All right, and this next book is considered a bonus because personally, I've only read a little bit of it, but I know it's a great resource, I know Grace loves it, and I know you'll quickly see why she loves it. The Monsters Know What They're Doing by Keith Amon breaks down monster features, lore, and abilities to determine not necessarily the most optimal strategy, but the most logical strategy for that monster to use in combat to destroy your party. <laughs> it covers what they want, how they react to different scenarios for, I believe, almost every monster from the 5e Monster Manual. While some would look at this as a DM's only book, I think it adds a rich detail to the lore of these monsters that player characters would probably know, making it a solid choice for your shelf. And if you're really into monster tactics and ecology in concise modules, you'll want to check out the adventure packs available on my Patreon. Or if you're like, Bob, wait, you didn't talk about the Tome of Beasts or some other popular third-party beast cherry. Well, as you can see, I'm pretty picky when it comes to RPG books, and monsters are just something I've always enjoyed making myself. So, imagine my excitement when Chris Doyle invited me to contribute a monster to Goodman Games' own bestiary, Dungeon Denizens, 500 Monsters for 5e, coming in 2022. For now, use that promo code and check out all the stuff linked below. Thank you to Goodman Games, Describe, and you for all your support, and keep building.